Hey, what's up? So, uh, today I wanted to showcase this uh, multifunction calculator that I created in uh, Java. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, I started out by designing kind of like uh, just a sort of quote unquote UML diagram. So, basically, like just the text field can be, you know, have these add numbers added. Um, basic buttons are like divide, multiply, times, and um, kind of the way that this works out is that we add the numbers to the text field and then we do perform an operation and then we store the value of the text field in two separate numbers depending upon if an operation has been clicked or not and then we just perform that operation when the equals sign is clicked and then the uh, the answer that we get ends up becoming the first number of the next equation right so um, in Java, oh, let me get that one out. Sorry, unprepared. So, um, it's pretty simple. It's nothing, nothing too crazy, but thought it was worth showcasing. We've just got like got first num. It's just a boolean that checks whether we have a first number or not. We've got two doubles first and second number string operation will be like times minus that kind of thing um, and then our result will be a double right um, the line that runs is just the the GUI itself and then that is defined by these methods um, we create them all and their action listeners are down here um, add num to text field is just a custom made method. So this is all setting up the GUI and then it's pretty pretty easy to kind of get a hold of once you figure out this is the creation of the button itself. There's a point down after I get all of these created in which we go to the logic, add number to text field, takes in a number, and then adds it to the text field and then just kind of returns that number, right? Um, decimal of the text field, as long as the decimal does not contain a decimal, we can add one because there can't be two decimal numbers, right? Change negative to positive will essentially just check if there is a negative at the first position of the string for text field, and if there isn't, add one. If there, if it is, get rid of it. So we allow ourselves to make the number negative and positive that way. Save first number will just take in the the text field answer and we'll store it in a value. And then I just gave myself some helpful feedback here so that I could figure out what was going on. Uh, the operation will just be the string that gets passed in and that string that gets passed in is only called when we hit the four buttons times multiply that sort of thing. Um, save second number only happens if the first number is saved first, and then we'll hit the equals button, and that kind of thing. This is this is the operation. This is the, I should have named this perform operation, but add num seems fine too, I guess. Clear all is just called at the, the start. So. If we open up the GUI, we get ourselves a nice little J frame with some buttons over here. Um, so you are like 15 divided by three, and then we get this nice little helpful thing in the console over here, and I wanna improve this in the future to make it so that this gets displayed to the top right here somewhere, just so that the user can get better feedback. But now the answer is five. So if I take five and I multiply it by four, I get the answer 20. So do you have to clear the text field each time you want to do another answer though because if I just say oh 20 plus 6 it now so that's that's the only thing that's I guess a, the problem with this but this was a lot of fun I, I didn't do it for a class specifically I just kind of made it over winter break when we didn't have anything like in between semesters because uh, my my computer science teacher Jeff Stone shout out to Stone Cold Magic, um, he he told us to just continue working on code, and that was super helpful. So, yeah, this is 
this application that I made, and it's pretty fun, and it was, it was a good time. Well, anyway, peace out, guys.